Hello, hello my crafty friend. We are back with more Cricut Design Space tutorials. Our tutorials that's based on our best-selling book, which is the Cricut Design Space tutorial style book where you can find all of these tutorials in beautiful written and screenshot step-by-steps. So have a look in the description below for this link, but for today, let's jump straight into this video. We are looking at color syncing today and why you would want to do color sync and what the whole thing is about. So let me go and grab that image that we need to have a look at. We're on page 43 in our complete guide to the Cricut Design Space book. So this is just a video tutorial on the step by steps that's happening in there. And I'm going to try and find this super cute image of the Nutcracker. So M11 B6 F121. Perfect. And here we go. So we've got this little fella here, right? Now, what I can see is, holy cow, there's a lot of different colors and layers on here. If I was going to try and replicate this little guy out of vinyl on a shirt, wow, what a big job, right? You have got, I don't even know if I can count all these. It's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 different colors and layers. I mean, that's crazy. So why would you want to use color sync? We would like to use color sync to simplify an image. So if we want to try and remove any of the colors that we've got on the mat, color sync is a super duper easy way to do that. And the reason for it is this. We know that similar colors go onto a same, onto the same mat. So all the white pieces go onto the white mat. But here we've got two pieces that's going to go so onto the green So let's say we mat want to combine some of these mat. colors. This One piece yellow on the black. here is we've actually a different yellow two to that. Pieces, you see got that? This teeny, it's like tiny a light piece on the yellow orange and a mustardy color. One on the yellow. So I have, if I don't have two different colors here, because there's a few yellow cardstock or yellow vinyls, I might so just as well cut back, them out of the same And piece. I want to make so this if I was something on this guy the same color as something else and I did it with a color, well, that would get a bit more complicated. So they've got a system here where you can select some colors, but what I find easy easier is just to go to color sync. Now you've got your whole entire design broken down by the color mats that you will cut. So I can see my nine mats in one simple go and you can easily change the colors by clicking on something and dragging it into a different area. So I'm clicking on this dark mustardy color yellow and I'm going to drag it over to the other one so that they became, become the same color. Look, he looks perfectly fine, but I have now reduced my mats down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mats instead of the nine. So I've already got one less mat that I have to cut, which makes my life so much easier and so much simpler. And you can do the same thing with so many different other things. This blue here, again, is a slightly different blue to that one. For what reason? It doesn't make any sense. I don't want to cut just one single tiny little thing like that. So what I'm going to do is to drag this into something else and I might change it into the green because the hat is dark blue. And that looks cute too. And now I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mats. It's easier already. Now I can go even further with this white and the creams. His little eyebrows are white but his hair is obviously supposed to be gray, right? But do we really need them to be so different? I can go ahead and I can change his eyebrows to black for all I care. Actually, that really doesn't look good. Ha! <laughs> let me undo that. Um, let me rather change it to gray. He can have gray eyebrows. There we go. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six mats. So see how easy it was for me to simplify my designing and how I've gone from having to create nine different mats, which means you have to load up the mats nine times. You have to weed them nine times if you're doing vinyl. You have to build it up, all of those layers. And instead now I have only got these few mats that I have to work with. So a really great easy tip to keep in mind and a really convenient way to change colors so that you don't create a new green but you're making the one green match the other green. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that's something that you can start incorporating into your designing to make your life a little bit simpler and a little bit easier. All right, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.